and in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 hacks for boosting your family's immunity. The best cure for a virus is to avoid catching it in the first place. So my goal in this video is to give you some practical tips of ways that you can help your family to avoid getting sick in the first place. And then if someone does come down with a sickness, to shorten that sickness and um, also lessen the severity of that sickness so that you guys can be happy and healthy and back to enjoying life together. Number one is to salt your bath water. And what I mean by that is to add in a cup or two of Epsom salts and also then a tablespoon or two of some good quality sea salt. So add those to your bath water and let them do their work. Um, allow your body to absorb through your skin um, all of the good minerals that they have and make sure that your body um, has the proper nutrients and minerals that it needs to fight off any infection and any viruses or anything that it may be exposed to. Number two is to soak up some vitamin D. So get outside, go do something fun as a family outdoors. Um, allow your kids to go outside and go play in the dirt because in that dirt is a lot of good minerals um, and a lot of good nutrients that they're going to be able to absorb that's going to help their immunity and their body to be in the best place possible. Number three, up your healthy fat intake. So eat some more coconut oil, grass-fed butter, some good quality beef or salmon, um, avocado, eggs, things like that. Number four is to simmer up some of your grandma's good old fashioned chicken soup. And I'm not kidding about this because who does not crave chicken soup or some warm yumminess when they are sick or feel like they're starting to get sick? And it's actually kind of hilarious because there is a restaurant um, here locally where I live that makes this chicken soup and during cold and flu season they do really good business because everybody is craving and wanting this chicken soup. But I'm serious, broth, specifically bone broth, contains so many good minerals that are easy for your body to assimilate so they're able to absorb them really good. And then in turn, your body um, is going to have a much better immunity and bone health, skin health, muscle growth are all going to be so much better. Number five is to boost gut bacteria. So do this with um, a probiotic supplement or also through foods, things like um, fermented vegetables like sauerkraut. Um, then also drinks like kombucha, water kefir, um, fermented lemonade, things like that. Anything that you can do to get your body um, more exposed to more gut um, bacteria. And it only makes sense since over 80% of the body's immunity is in the gut. If the gut is in um, a good place, then the rest of your body is going to be in a good place. So when it's exposed um, to any nasty viruses, it's going to be able to fight it off a lot faster and a lot more effectively. Number six is to ditch any and all products that are in your home that contain nasty chemicals because those chemicals are knocking out your family's um, body's abilities to have good immune um, reception and it's just messing up your body's um, chemistry and the way that it works. So replace those with easy homemade versions of things like toothpaste, soaps, shampoos, laundry detergent, um, lotions, things like that. So it's super easy to make good quality um, products for your family that are filled with ingredients that you actually know what they are and they're gonna be healthful and helpful for your family. Number seven is to just rest. Slow down, take a breather, make sure that everyone is getting good sleep at night so that your bodies can um, recharge, rejuvenate, and be ready for the days ahead. Number eight is to take some supplements that will assist your body in its fight against any nasty viruses. So taking some tinctures that have um, elderberry or echinacea in them, taking raw garlic with um, some local honey mixed into it, um, using essential oils, lemon, copaiba, oregano, and also just you know any immunity blend that you have. Those are gonna be really helpful. Um, as well as then taking something that um, is known as fire water or fire cider. And this I wouldn't give to really small children just because it is extremely spicy and quite frankly pretty nasty, but it does wonders at warding off any sickness that may be brewing. So basically how you make fire water or fire cider, and if you Google those terms online, you can come up with a really simple recipe. But basically it's chopped up um, garlic, onion, horseradish, ginger, lemon, 
Uh, peppercorns, black peppercorns, uh, cayenne pepper, jalapenos. Different people use different ingredients. Those are some of the ingredients that are most popular, but basically you chop those up, put those in a glass jar with apple cider vinegar on them, let that sit for about four to six weeks, shaking it every day. Then after that time, you strain off the liquid, throw away all of the chunks, and then you drink that liquid. And you take it in about teaspoon-ish um, quantities at a time. It is extremely strong, like I said. So it's not for the weak um, stomach. Those that um, have really weak stomachs make, and even those that don't, make sure that you take it with food, because otherwise you can really end up getting some really nasty burning feelings in your stomach that don't feel good either. So that's something really, really helpful, and my family has definitely found that very effective in warding off um, any sickness that we're starting to come down with or whenever we have been exposed to a sickness when we're around someone that has been not feeling well. Number nine is to throw out the junk food. And do I need to say more? It's called junk food for a reason. So if it's not real food, then get rid of it. Don't eat it because your body is not going to be able to effectively fight off um, any nasty bugs that it's exposed to if all you've been giving it is um, junky stuff. So cut out the sugar, cut out um, any processed foods or refined foods that you've been eating because that's just gonna bog your body down and your body's not gonna be in the best place possible um, whenever you are exposed to someone who is sick. And lastly, number 10, and this one may or may not be the most important one, is to make sure that you are drinking a lot of water. So not only does the water help to effectively hydrate your cells and bring the proper nutrients, but then it also brings away the waste um, from your cells and helps to flush out all of the bad toxins and all of the bad viruses that are in your body. So it'll help you get rid of all of that. And if you get tired of just drinking plain water, you can try to infuse it with some fruit or some citrus, you know, put a slice of lemon or lime or something like that in your water. Or you can also try to drink an herbal tea. And that is also going to be a really effective way to get down the liquids and the hydration, um, give you the hydration that you need without just drinking plain old boring old water. <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful in learning some ways to keep your family's immunity high so that um, no one in your family is struck down by sickness. And if anyone unfortunately does come down with a nasty bug, then you have some tools and some practical tips on ways that you can help their body and assist their body to get back to feeling um, their best and get back to be able to enjoy being together as a family and doing life together. So I would love to hear from you guys if you have any tried and true remedies that you use to help to keep your family happy and healthy when it seems like everyone around you is um, falling down with whatever sickness seems to be passing around. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. And please pass uh, my channel information on to anyone that you know who might be interested in my content as well. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.